All right, welcome back to another session of Pellet Tech 101. I'm your host, Taylor. And today, I want to uh, give a basic overview on a quadrifier thermocouple. Now, this particular quadrifier thermocouple is a 14-inch thermocouple. Uh, depending on the quadrifier model that you have, there are different thermocouples based on the model. So, this is one of the most common ones, but there are two other thermocouples, again, just depending on the model. Uh, so, should you need to replace your thermocouple, always important to reference the part number, uh, or you can obviously uh, just call us or leave us a message, even on the video here. Uh, we're happy to direct you in the right area to get the correct replacement thermocouple. Now the thermocouple in a quadrifier stove, uh, regardless of the model, is essentially serving the same purpose. So you'll see this thermocouple sticking over the fire pot. Uh, so it might look like a little finger or a little probe sticking out of the fire pot. Uh, generally speaking, the thermocouple is about an inch and a half, two inches over that burn pot. So it is important that it's far enough over the burn pot so it's detecting the hottest area of heat over that fire pot. Uh, on the thermocouple, you'll see a ceramic cover that goes over the top of this. Uh, so the ceramic cover is a really Im important part of this. Uh, it is important, I, I always like to say, when you're doing any kind of maintenance cleaning, uh, make sure that you remove that ceramic thermocouple cover, place that off to the side, uh, do any cleaning, scraping, maintenance inside the firebox or inside the burn pot itself, and then go ahead and place that thermocouple cover uh, right back over the top. Super important to have that cover in place because without it, our fire is basically going to burn through this uh, in a very short period of time. So that ceramic cover is uh, absolutely required to be in place when the unit is in operation. As you can see at the end of the thermocouple right here, has just a little soldered ball at the end. Uh, again, basically, as the power comes up one side, it's going to loop back down the other side. Oftentimes when we see issues with thermocouples, we see a split right here uh, in that soldered end. So uh, a lot of times we can do a visual inspection on a thermocouple. Uh, not always does it guarantee that the thermocouple is good or bad, uh, but in a lot of cases we do see a break right here and that gives us an indication we have an issue and, and definitely need to replace the thermocouple. Now as far as uh, function and what this does in quadrifier stoves, is this essentially is acting as a proof of fire. Um, so. Initially, the, the control board in your, in your quadrifier stove is programmed to go through a startup cycle. So when I turn the thermostat above the temperature that's in the room, the stove is going to basically turn on the combustion fan. It's going to feed fuel for a short period of time. Uh, the little igniter or glow plug element uh, that's in the base of the fire pot that'll get red hot. The air rushing around that igniter is going to light those pellets that have first come in. And then from there, the thermocouple comes into play. So again, this is essentially detecting that heat. And once it reaches the preset heat setting, uh, it's going to give signal back to that control board and allow it to go into normal operating mode. When we start to see an issue where uh, the stove is feeding, it's lighting, and then it just goes out, uh, that's at the time where I really want to take a closer look at this thermocouple. So again, it's designed as a safety device, um, essentially uh, letting our control board know, hey, we have reached proper proof of fire. Um, so we've seen circumstances before uh, where maybe not enough pellets fall into that fire pot uh, during startup. Uh, you know, sometimes if, uh, if that hopper runs close to empty, there can be dry spells in the actual auger shaft and sometimes not enough fuel comes into the fire pot on startup to get hot enough to lock in the thermocouple. Uh, so there's different, there's different circumstances, but bottom line is, is this is designed as a safety switch that once it reaches proper temperature on startup, that this will give signal back to the control board and allow it to go into normal operating mode. Now, depending on the quadrifier model and the generation control box that's in that quadrifier, uh, there'll be different lights that are on that control box that are going to let us know when we're initially going into startup. And then once this is actually reached temperature, uh, on most of those control boards, a different light will light up, letting us know that, okay, we have reached proof of fire and the stove is now going into normal operating mode. So. That's essentially what the thermocouple is doing inside of a quadrifier stove, uh, is it's making sure that we have uh, proper proof of fire and allowing the stove to go from startup into normal operation mode. Uh, should you need to inspect your thermocouple, uh, if you're doing any kind of a cleaning with it or if you're replacing it, uh, this is a, a wire, fire, uh, a fireproof wire coating that's on here. Uh, and even as I've just been handling it here, I've realized the importance of having uh, 
uh, protective gear on your hands when you're handling this. So I, I definitely would recommend that. Uh, obviously, anytime that you're working with any kind of electrical componentry within the stove, always make sure that that stove is unplugged from the wall. That's super important. Um, other than that, if you have any questions, uh, particular circumstances, issues, things that you're experiencing with your quadrifier or the thermal couple in your stove, definitely comment on the video here. Uh, that's what we're here for. We're always here to help. Uh, make sure that you're staying uh, up and running and nice and warm and cozy. So thanks again for joining us for another session of Pellet Tech 101, and I will see you soon. Thanks.